Good morning. Today is the day before Halloween, so I'm dressing very festive, but today is a very, very exciting day. Today is the day that we are air conditioning our whole house. Right now we have our bedrooms and like our offices done, um, but here in Hawaii they don't, well they do do central air, but in these older homes they always recommend doing like unit air conditionings. Um, so today we are doing our living room and dining and kitchen area. When I say I'm excited, that's just like the tip of the iceberg. I am so freaking excited. I <laughs> cannot wait to actually be able to wear a sweatsuit or sweaters in my house without sweating. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you guys us putting air conditioning in, which is exciting for me. <laughs> and since I wanted to film the air conditioning, I decided to vlog this weekend since it's Halloween. So welcome to this weekend's vlog. It's love of mine. Come sing with me now, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. So the AC guys will be here in a little bit to start the installation, but I wanted to show you guys like where we're putting it. So we are going to do a big unit in our dining room. So that'll cover this dining room area as well as the kitchen. Um, so there'll be one unit over here. And then we'll be putting a second unit. We'll be going over the TV. Um, of course, like the air conditioning units aren't obviously too pretty. I don't love the look of them. So I would try to put them in places that kind of hide or aren't like the main focus of the room. So I put it over the TV since it isn't the main wall when you walk in. So yeah, it'll be going there. And then the last air conditioning unit that we will be getting for the house and then the whole house will be air conditioned <laughs> is in the guest room. Um, luckily this room is sandwiched between all other rooms that are air conditioned so it hasn't been too bad but of course we want our guests and family to be super comfortable when they're staying so we will be putting a small air conditioning unit right there above the mirror so I'm honestly so excited if you guys can't tell I'm just excited not to be sweating when I cook I'm excited to be able to wear a long sleeve or sweats if I want in the house it'll be nice when it's cooler inside so when you come in from 90 degree Hawaii weather. It's actually refreshing, so it'll just be nice and our guests will be comfortable because I always feel bad like when my mom comes over and she's like sweating, she's like, your house is so hot. So I just, I feel bad. And I know guests never want to say anything. My mom obviously does, um, but you know, you want everyone to be comfortable. So we're very, very excited to be able to put air conditioning in finally. Is it starting? They're unloading the air conditioning units. All the AC units are here. Oh, you have no idea how happy I am to see you boxes of AC units. <laughs> Okay, so the AC is still being put in, but a thing that we always do, since I've, ever since I can remember, I think we always did it every Halloween, was make a jambalaya because it was a really simple meal that we'd eat before we went trick-or-treating and just always had on the pot for whoever came by the house. Um, so we pretty much continued that way. I'm sorry, <laughs> I just got a weird look from my mom. We had it on the stove, a pot of jambalaya, so whoever came by could grab some. So I've continued that tradition, tradition? I cannot speak. <laughs> so I've continued that tradition and uh, made jambalaya every year. So it is the day before Halloween, but we're kind of doing a pre-Halloween with my mom. Um, so we're making jambalaya today and yeah, so let's make some jambalaya. It's my mom's homemade recipe. Is it from Museum? Like, like is it grandma's or is it just yours? It's a family I'm, recipe. Yeah, I'm not sure where I got it because my mom always asked me to make my recipe. So that's I'm not true. Sure so we don't know. It's it. my mom's. She's from Louisiana, so it works. <laughs> All right, let's make some jambalaya.
We're serving up the jambalaya. Yummy. Good job, mama. We did it together. <laughs> This is the moment, guys. This is the moment we're testing and turning on the air conditioning. Should this have been a two-day job? It seems like this day and a half. It's definitely a lot. I was, yeah, what he was telling it us. Looks like it it turned on. So yeah, I'll let it run for a bit. And come back out. Cool. Sounds Here good. In. Thank you. Yep. So if you're running either one, you might as well run both. Yeah, exactly. that I will probably. It will not. If you're talking maybe a dollar a day, because yeah. yeah. they're in the room before the fan. So, so it's always better like save against yeah. like. So both AC units are in, they are tested, they are actually <laughs> cooling down our house. I literally could not be more excited. We have family here over eating a jambalaya. It's a great day, great Halloween, great early Christmas present. We are happy, happy as can be. Sawyer's mom sent us a cookie cake for Halloween. Oh, awesome. It says boo! Oh, they're home. The goose, goose slid off, but we got icing. Yeah, it's yeah. so cute though. Yum. So I think it's safe to say that all he likes is lamb chop toys. You look like a little lamb chop, buddy. You have one, two, three, and you're the fourth one. Hi, Bubba. Happy Halloween, everybody. It is October 31st, which is crazy. We are now officially in holiday mode. <laughs> um, this morning was so nice. We woke up, the AC was on. You could actually see the steam coming off my coffee, which made me really, really happy. After we drank coffee, we walked down to the beach. It's about a mile from our house, so we did a two mile round trip early this morning. It was so nice, the birds were chirping. We got to show Sawyer's mom the beach. Um, she's out of quarantine, which is good. And then I just actually filmed a video and Sawyer and his mom ran some errands. So it's just kind of a casual, lazy day here in Hawaii. And Halloween opened their home. <laughs> Even the boys are dressed up for Halloween. You got your spiders on and you have your bats, huh buddy? You guys are cute. Hi boys. So this Halloween has been so chill. Um, Sawyer's been cleaning his office. I was just working on editing a video. Um, we just took a really cute photo outside on the porch, like a little family photo with the dogs. And Sawyer and I, I wanted a photo out there, like with all the decorations, just, you know, to have for memories. So we just took that and it's about three o'clock right now. So I'm just making a cheese platter just to have out um, for all of us to snack on. And I'll show you guys how it turns out when it's all put together. So this is our little cheese platter. We have all different types. We have different spreads. We have some nuts. We have some fake preserves and some grapes. Happy Halloween. Oh, come on. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. <laughs> Seen Hocus ah, Pocus. Never. Crazy. Ah. Now they've returned from their grave. <laughs> I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. <laughs> so we just finished watching Hocus Pocus and Karen enjoyed it. It was really cute. So we are outside with our bucket of candy. We saw a few kids walk by, but our lights weren't on, so our bad. So now we're standing out here hoping that kids come to retreating because we want them to come to retreat. <laughs> um, we don't know though if it's really still allowed. They were technically gonna fine people for trick or treating, but maybe that actually kept people home, but I don't know if they're actually doing that. So anyways, I'll let you know if we actually have kids come to the door. We hope so. Are you guys trick or treating? They are. Oh, good. Ah! Do you guys want some candy? Okay. Yeah, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween. <laughs> okay, so it is 6.56 and we haven't seen anybody in the streets. There's nobody trick-or-treating, so guess Halloween's over. We're gonna go watch some like Disney Halloween shows from Sawyer's childhood. And that's our Halloween night. We got some extra candy. <laughs> Boys, that's it, Halloween's over. You're gonna to take these collars off yeah. me, Mom. Yep, you're almost out of your Halloween collar.
Oh my god, you're so cute. Is it like the Christmas fireplace, the apple place or whatever? There's the spooky fireplace. <laughs> okay, good morning. It is about 7 a.m. I am headed to go meet my friend Naomi for breakfast. She is in town in Waikiki for her baby moon. So I'm at Target bright and early in the kids section to find a little outfit for her and her little girl um, as a present, as a congratulations, because I haven't seen Naomi in over a year now. So I'm gonna find her a cute little baby present and then head home and get ready. So I found these cute little matching sets for Naomi's little baby girl. I thought they're cute. They're just good little basics, girly and simple. So um, yeah, these are what I got her. So it's starting, they are putting out Christmas at Target. I'm actually seeing if they're putting out anything today so that way I know if I have to come back to actually shop. But looks like the aisles are pretty bare, except for lights and trees, so keep an eye out. Okay, they just unloaded all the uh, wrapping paper, so I stocked up and grabbed everything I thought I could want, because uh, I know it'll be gone in like five seconds. Babe, Christmas is upon us. He got dinosaur wrapping paper for all of his things. <laughs> hey babe, you look kind of cute holding those clothes. They're well, so I'm glad good. you got it on camera because it might be a while until you see it again. Oh, oh look how cute. <laughs> Okay, I just made it to brunch and we ordered our breakfast and just catching up. We haven't seen each other in like, since so New York, long. which is it's over a year and a half. Year. Crazy. Yeah. But it's yeah. so pretty cheap. Yeah. <laughs> I know she's in Hawaii and she's pregnant. But I know. So, so I'm hearing crazy. all about it. And enjoy your breakfast. So I just got home from seeing Naomi and we're gonna head to a little local like decor store. I've got some like decor there, like picture frames as well as some Christmas decorations. Hey Hitch, come on, let's go to bed, go to bed. So we're gonna head there and see what Halloween decor they have. Cause they always put everything on um, sale after a holiday. So we're gonna go see what we can find and maybe they have some Christmas set up, so. I'm just gonna go browse around and look, the Christmas is already out. How cute is that? See, all Halloween is on sale, so I'm gonna get these two cute little guys. But also, they have Christmas set up. How fun is that? Oh, I'm excited. So we just got home from that cute home decor store. I ended up grabbing these two little guys. Um, everything was like 40% off, which is great. So I added these to my little Halloween collection. Um, but today is November 1st. So we're gonna start undecorating all the Halloween decorations. I will leave up all of fall or anything like more fall decor, um, but we will slowly start transitioning into more of like Christmas, slowly, obviously closer to Thanksgiving. Um, so I have my bins out. My game plan is to just bring everything to this area and then figure out how we can all fit it in there. <laughs> Start the undecorating process. It'll feel so bare in here. Um, alrighty, Halloween's over, let's do it. So this is all of Halloween in one spot. <laughs> That's a lot of decorations for doing this in just one year. <laughs> so uh, now I'm just gonna try to get it into these two bins. I am gonna need to get like a longer storage bin for like the brooms and some of the trees and stuff. It'll be easier to store it in there. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna see what I can get in here and see how we do. Okay, I was able to get most of Halloween into this box. I do have a pile over here with like the pillows, the brooms, and some of the signs. I need to get one of those like long storage boxes. Um, and I think everything will fit in there. And I'm also going to take um, plastic wrap or like saran wrap and wrap the trees up so that way they're a little tighter. 
Um, I just don't have any, so um, I will have to go to Target and get a box and some saran wrap to finish that, but pretty proud I got most of it into this box. Okay, it's time to put the lid on this Halloween box. Uh, yeah, for now, this one. Um, yeah, I just think I need one more box for that, so that's good. And then I'm just gonna finish straightening up the house. And then I just washed my sheets, so I'm gonna make my bed because it's Sunday. You guys know uh, Sundays are my clean sheet day. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna head over to my mom's for dinner. So I would say a lazy Sunday, but honestly, we're getting a lot done. Hitch and I matched today. We're coordinating, huh, buddy? <laughs> that look. <laughs> All right, we are headed to TJ Maxx to see if they have anything for Christmas. It'll be super fun and exciting. Getting sanitized. Let's see what they have in store for Christmas. I feel like I was just here for Halloween. <laughs> they have Christmas out. There's wrapping paper, wreaths, little gnomes. That stripe is cute. I love Christmas at TJ Maxx. Okay, so we didn't find a ton. We just found a few things. I felt like they had really cute decor, but we already had a ton of decor, so we're just trying to find little things. So my mom found a rug, we found some candles, and obviously we'll, it's only, what, November 3rd, so we'll be coming back a few more times as they get more, but so far, this is what we got for Christmas. Okay, this is pretty exciting. We got home from running errands with my mom and Sawyer's mom, and then we had to run to Target for something else. We just got here. <laughs> and they started setting up Christmas. So I'm just gonna glance, I'm not gonna, it's not all out yet, but I do want to take a look and see if we see anything. Crazy Christmas is here. Okay, so for November 3rd, I think we did a good job on our Christmas shopping um, at TJ Maxx and Target. It is the first Christmas shopping run of the season. I'm personally very excited. But not the last. <laughs> not the last. And that, my friends, concludes this Halloween vlog. I am so ready for the holidays. We had a great Halloween. I've already started preparing for Christmas. I've already gone to Target quite a few times <laughs> and started collecting some new decor. So be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of holiday videos, decorating videos, haul videos of decor, some gift ideas and gift guides. So be sure you're subscribed so you guys don't miss out on any of the holiday goodies as well as vlogs. We will be vlogging um, and documenting our holiday season. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.